Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Machete Monday. Can you see me back here? It's actually Monday, and we are going to do some actual work. We have a tree that's fallen over this trail, and, well, I can't get through it. Um, I've got this Cornetta. Let's get up in this tree real quick so you can get a picture of it. I've got the Cornetta. It's a Panga style machete. Uh, this was, again, another one of those uh, Colombian surplus machetes. Uh, for my guys that can read Spanish, I'll give you a close up real quick. But yeah, enough chit chat. This is a, uh, well, this is some kind of an oak that has hit the ground. And I can't drive over it. So, what better tool to use than a panga for some chopping? It's uh, big in the hand. That handle's got a lot of meat on it. I, I feel like I would need to wear a glove with this because the handle's pretty rough. We've got some of the tang sticking out right there, and a lot of times that can be pretty sharp on the hand. I, this is some kind of high-density HDPE, I guess is what this handle is. It's not wood, it looks like wood, but it most definitely isn't wood, which is just fine for down here in South Alabama and all the other wet climates because that wood will get wet and it'll swell and then it'll get dried and it'll contract and it'll swell and contract. Before you know it, you ain't got a handle on your machete or you've got to wrap it up in some tape or something of the sort um so this is oak is a hardwood right and that's definitely what we're cutting on but it's still it's still got a little bit of green to it you see there's leaves on it so that's going to make it chop a bit easier man it's uh like 8 30 in the morning it's already like 94 degrees. They said the heat index is gonna get up to 115. And one of my apps says the heat index is gonna be up to 118. I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty close to a delicious rare steak. Let's go find something harder. It's not Machete Monday if you post it on a Wednesday. Guys and gals, the last time we spoke, it was 100% a Monday morning, uh, some things happened. I have a job and I had to get to work. Uh, so here we are, it's Wednesday. This video is gonna go up tonight. We're back at the house. We've got our backwood test stump here and we've just about gnawed through this thing with some of these other machetes. I think it's time we start working on a new spot. So let me lower you down here a little bit. This glove is nice and crusty right now. I don't know if it's gonna be much for grip, but let me just show you real quick. Let's see if I can get that to stand up, yeah. So I'm gonna bring it in. So that tang is sticking out right there and that, that 90 degree grind that's on that is really sharp. So this would cut your hand. This thing came duller than a ding dong, but uh, this glove get some get some goodness on it but here's some fat wood for you mama ooh 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 yeah ooh she's singing now yeah yeah she really is cutting in there god love she's singing man I think this is the most bitey machete that we've had so far. I mean, this thing, can y'all see that? She's really digging into that stump. I mean, y'all can see how fat that wood is. Let's see if I can get you a, uh, a nice little chunk to show you the amber beauty. Yeah, some super resiny stuff here. Um, yeah, so the, the panga 
the Cornetta. It's a uh, one of the uh, Colombian surplus knives. Um, the handle's gonna take some work, but that's okay because we know what we're doing with machetes and uh, we can definitely file a handle down or sand a handle down if we need to. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting and all that jazz. We'll see you next time. Ain't no need to write a song.